number of illegal small boat crossings in the English Channel is up by 43% on the same period last year. Well, official Home Office figures report that a total of 791 Channel migrants reached UK waters in 16 small boats over the Easter weekend. Well, in light of these shocking new figures, shall we take a listen to what Rishi Sunak had to say at the end of last year? But the British people's patience can only be stretched so thin, and they expect the boats to be stopped. That is why I made it one of my five priorities. And whatever our critics might say, we are making progress. Well, that was true last year. Last year, the number of small boat arrivals was down by over a third. This year, however, the tide has started to go the other way. Let's speak to our Home and Security Editor, Mark White, for the details. And Mark, you started picking up on this before just about anyone else. Yeah, and I think it's very significant now, Tom, because we are at the point where we have actually uh, seen a full reversal here with a 36% reduction in small boats coming across the channel last year has been flipped around. Uh, so that actually even more than that, now 43% more are coming across the English Channel than last year. Again, yesterday, nine boats that came across the channel. We got some video we want to show you. This was shot by one of those on board, one of the small boats that made it in fairly treacherous conditions. And what it shows, the video, which we'll repeat for you, is uh, on that boat, amongst others, are quite a significant number of Vietnamese. Um, and, you know, Vietnam, the last time I was there on holiday, was not a particularly hot war zone, as far as I remember. And this is one of the difficulties that the government is, is up against, because they say anyone, of course, from the likes of Vietnam... Uh, surely has no right to claim asylum in the UK, but it will still have to be processed like the other almost 800 who came across this very busy weekend. And I think the reason that it's so significant now, the flipping of this number, is that the government and Rishi Sunak was able to say at various points last year as it was turning in their favour that look what we're doing, we are getting there. OK, not immediately, but we're making the difference. We're reducing the number of boats coming across till it ended at 36% last year. We're only a quarter of the way now into the new year, 2024, and already it's 43% more. The government can't say that anymore. It might turn around and say, oh, well, judge us on the end of the year. But, of course, during the course of last year, they were only too willing to come out at news conference after news conference throughout that year and tell us how well they were doing. By the same degree then they have to be able to take mm. the the criticism now that will be leveled at them that this is a complete reversal and failure of that same policy uh, i mean mark are, are we taken by surprise by the fact that now vietnamese nationals are crossing the channel what we see from year to year is that there is often a change uh, sometimes it's Afghans uh, and Iranians. In fact, they're always pretty much well represented. But there are various other countries as well. Uh, Turkish nationals, for instance, have been coming across in ever greater numbers. And yes, all those uh, groups from Southeast Asia as well. Uh, Vietnam, China are significantly represented. And those that actually watch the uh, the way in which these illegals come across the channel will tell you that this is clearly, to them anyway, an example of economic migration and not an example of people who are fleeing uh, war-torn countries to get here for asylum. Vietnam, of course, a fast-growing economy, a member of the um, Trans-Pacific Partnership, the, Compressive, the CPTPP. Uh, China, the second largest economy in the world. It's extraordinary that people will be fleeing these countries that economically yeah. are, not, are not actually, or, or even, I mean, Surely if, we say, that's got to put... if we say that Vietnam and China are now akin to <laughs> Afghanistan oh my um, or, or, I don't know, any, any sort of failed state around the world, what country isn't then? There will still of... be people, there will still be people who say everyone crossing in, in a dinghy in one of these boats must be, you know, have been persecuted in their home country, must be an asylum seeker. You know, there will be people who continue to argue that, even when it becomes more and more clear. 
to most people that actually there are a lot of people who are just economic migrants, just would prefer to live here well, than where they're from. Well, the, the, the UN Convention on Refugees that we signed up to in the 1950s that we helped draft, that we helped write, does theoretically give the right of, yeah. of potentially hundreds of millions or billions of people that theoretical right to move to the UK. It rather undermines any sense of migration control. And then right. it means that you have to have these peculiar deterrence policies yeah. rather than border control policies. Right. And it's 